These microphone-based sound sensor modules are small, easy to set up and very useful. Someone who has difficulty hearing an alarm perhaps, or maybe a cooker timer, could have a device using one of these to flash an LED. You could also use one as a presence detector to monitor sound levels or maybe to turn on some lights. You could also link it wirelessly to send notifications at a distance. So let's look at how to set one up in five quick and easy steps. To make a simple project, I'm going to start with an Arduino Nano and a microphone sensor module. You can of course do this with any kind of Arduino, or you can adapt the idea for Raspberry Pi or any other logic board. I'm also going to need a breadboard and a small screwdriver. For this kind of project, it's useful to have breadboard male-to-male -male connectors and DuPont leads, which with their combinations of male and female connectors, let you join up modules however you need to. Breadboard connectors are usually sold in bundles and are often a bargain when included with the breadboard. You can also get these wire connectors which come pre-sized in boxes and make for a very neat setup. The last two things I need for this simple project are an LED and a current limiting resistor for it. I'll use 150 ohms. Before anything else, I'll put the Arduino on the breadboard as that will give me regulated power for the other components. Now I'll put 5 volts and ground to the sensor module from the 5 volt pin of the Arduino and then plug in the USB cable to give it power. Two LEDs have switched on. One is to show the power is connected and the other one is showing that the sensor is being triggered all the time by sound so that needs adjusting. Just turn the potentiometer trimmer screw outwards rotating to the left until the light goes out and then go back and forth with it until you hit the sweet spot where the sensor is reacting to sound. And of course, if you start with the LED off, you begin by turning the screw inwards. Now I'll connect the sensor digital output pin, which is labeled D0, to the Arduino. You can use any digital pin as an input, and I've chosen pin number three. When the microphone sensor is triggered by a sound, the voltage going to pin three of the Arduino will now switch from low to high. Next, I'll connect the LED anode, the long lead, to a digital pin on the Arduino. Again, you can use almost any pin, and I've chosen pin 12. This pin will be an output, which will stay low until the Arduino is triggered by the sensor, and then it will go high and turn on the LED. The cathode connects to ground via the current limiting resistor. Arduino programs, called sketches, basically have three parts. The first part is at the start and includes the basic information about the board setup and the variables being created and used. At the moment, the circuit is doing nothing as there is no code to tell the Arduino what to do. So let's start by setting up the pins. An integer will hold the value of a pin named LED, and that's pin 12 for this circuit. And another integer will represent the input pin used by the sensor, which here is pin 3. A third integer will be a variable, and this can be used to store information about the sensor being high or low. Having put in that essential information, now let's look at the setup section which every Arduino sketch has. Here, I'll set the LED pin to be an output and the sensor pin to be an input. Then, using the digital write command, I'll make sure that the sensor pin is low when the sketch starts and that the LED is switched off by writing its pin to low as well. The third part of any sketch is the loop, and in here we put the action we want the Arduino to perform. Firstly, I'll use the digital read command to find out if the sensor pin is high or low, and make the mic sensor pin variable equal to that. Then, if it's high, the LED will turn on, and a delay will keep it on for one second, or however long or short I need. As the sensor itself only flickers on or off for short periods, this makes for a sensible output to be seen by the user. The else after the if tells us what happens if the sensor is off, and in this case, the LED will stay off. So here is the whole code, and I'll put some links in the comments so you can copy or download it. All I need to do now is to upload the sketch to the Arduino, and then the microphone sensor should be listening and be ready to trigger the LED when it hears a sound. The sketch has now been uploaded and the board is complete here and you can see the, the red light flashing on and off and the blue light staying on for half a second every time I make a sound by talking or clicking my fingers. 
So this has been a huge success and you can see just how sensitive these microphone sensors are and how effectively they work with a logic board like an Arduino. Thanks for watching this video and I hope it was useful to you and your projects as well. If it was, please click the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'll be making more project videos soon.